Hi, this is Mr. Fleming, and it is January 12th, and we are fully remote. We are working in our sketchbooks, and we just finished up a project, and I will do a video as far as where we should be by the end of the quad, but right now let's work with the project in our sketchbook. We had a nice conversation about what abstract art is and what it is not. Um, we did these drawings over here for Christmas in which it was basically abstract, but the question was, is it really figurative? This would truly be an abstract piece in which there is no recognizable object. There really is no actual space. Um, we'll be creating a drawing, and I do want space to be part of it, but I want to kind of keep it abstract so we can play with just color without having to worry about atmosphere, horse, or likeness. And I'm going to show you guys how to do this in one second. Take a look at this one. Please keep in mind that um, we are using a gradation of tone, overlapping line to create space. So line and shape will be creating space. The last one we had line and shape creating movement will be creating space. So the, the element we're using is line and shape and the principle making is space. The way you do that is by overlapping the line. So you have this black line right here. It overlaps. It gives the illusion that the line is in front and that that's actually a woven knot. But we're also using gradation of tone and the tone is working from dark to light, and it does give us space, and that's what we want. Sometimes people read this as being a glow as opposed to space, but it does move back and forth. There's also a gradation of tone inside. We're using cool colors to fall back and warm colors to push forward. You can design anything you want. I'm going to show you some techniques to show an overlapping line, and we'll go from there. So what I'm going to do is first draw it out in pencil. Here's my palette. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw circles. And I'm going to draw a circle here. I'm just using a pencil. I'm going to bring it down here. I'm doing another circle. And you can do this as many times as you want. And bring it over here. Now, as far as this stage, I would definitely use um, the pencil first before you go to the mark. What we're going to do is make it the inside line and go around over here. So this line is going to go over, so I'm going to erase this right away so I know that. Now, you can do this right with the marker if you want to, but I strongly suggest that you don't. So this one's over, so this one's under. Coming through, since that one's under, that one goes over. And go over here, since that one's over, that one goes under. So that one's over, that one's under. And that's under, and that's over. That's under, and that's over. Okay. So I made the three circles. I'm doing pencil. I double the line. This line's over. That means it's under. That means the next one is over, then under. And I went through there. I didn't do this side, so this side is over and comes across like that. So now that I've done that with pencil work, I'm going to go in and make my lines. The pencil work is all done. So there you have it. Um, I have three rings there. I can do this as many times as I want to. I want to do it one more time just to be very clear how to do this. So I'm going to just a loop here. So I'm going to do the circle again.
I'll bring it over here to the same thing. And there's the intersection. So I have two overlapping lines down in pencil. So here's the outside line. And then I decide over here, I want to go over. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm go over. That would be my ring. Since it went over there, this one has to go under. Ah, messed up. That goes under. That goes over. All right, that didn't work out so badly. That's a glitch. It happens. So there are my two intersection ring. That goes over. That goes under. And I can make all kinds of designs using this technique. So what you're going to do is you're going to make a shape. It can be a square. It can be a circle. You make the shape and then you double up the line and you want to weave the line to go over, under, and then just play with color. I strongly suggest you use a color system. Primary colors, red, yellow, blue. Secondary colors, purple, orange, green. Complementary colors, um, blue and orange, red and green, purple and yellow. Analogous colors. Um, yellow, orange, red, that would work very nicely too. Now you can use your own color system, you really can, but just test it out beforehand. Make sure you have a plan of action before you go right into it. So that's what you'll be working on. Um, it should be a short drawing, um, it should be 8 by 10 in your sketchbook, but there should be some color studies and some planning, some sketching. You're not in school, so you're home, you should commit yourself to an hour drawing, five days a week. And you can stretch that to the weekend if you want to make it 20 minutes. But if you were in class, I'd be having you on task in the classroom. you got to keep yourself on task at home, too. Please devote some time to it. Make some beautiful art. And it really will make your life just a little bit more richer. And you're a more interesting person if you draw. You really are. So make art because art won't make itself. And I hope to see you really very soon. Bye-bye.